Now we're reporting again, so hello! Welcome back to the Alexandrian Codex. I'm Alex, this is U4, and we don't have an heir. Even though the game, the game, the game, the game, the game says, because of bigamy, our chance of a new heir is 100% higher. We're married, we have royal marriages with like, five different people? Four. Four different people. No heir. The game lies. It is a mean, mean liar. <laughs> mm -hmm. Alright, there's Rome. This coalition I'm not excited about. It's <laughs> we're we're stuck with it, I think. <laughs> Raw dog for babies. <laughs> uh condoms did exist at this time, you know. They just uh weren't very good and they were made out of like the lining of sheep stomachs and things like that. Game is a dirty, rotten liar. Last days of Ancona. We're... I do like this whole theme we have going on right now. Savan... Savonrola. Savonrola being our leader and he's all like, I'm gonna save the Tuscan people's souls. Or the Florentine people's souls. And then... Us converting and letting all of his good intentions go to waste. Hmm. So two five. So that's anything under five five. Build this first, and then we can build it. Medici's might take back over. True. Doesn't look like it though. It looks like we we gonna be French. We Valois boys. Got we Valois boys now. Oh, uh, hmm. So, how's, how's this looking? Manpower is looking pretty okay. Austria just got occupied in a war. So, it's a little... It's a little early to be declaring war here. Because this truce is not going to be up for a while. We could start poking at... Aragon and Castile, but that might not be wise. It may actually be best just to sit on our alliances for now. And I think I'm going to do just that. Imagine you got the Theocracy. That uh, would be... Actually, that kind of suck. Theocracies are not that great. <laughs> um, hmm. Eh, 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 eh. I hate both of these. Let me just wait. Castile is pretty intimidating. Yeah, C Castile. Castile. Fernando! Aha! Uh -huh. I'm sorry. Fernando, that's not how you spell. It's a me. Uh, Mario. It's a me, a Mario. Is our heir. Because this is a fucking miracle. Mario! <laughs> There we go. Miracle baby! Oh. Well, that's very lucky. And there's the stability hit that I saw coming from a mile away. Let's start buying ideas and shit. National Bank pays dividends. That's cool. But ABBA. But ABBA. Shouldn't have named him Mario Mario. Yeah, it's Mario's canon name. No. Hi, hi, welcome to school. Introduce yourself to the class. It's a me, it's a me, a Mario. Mario. <laughs> My brother is named Luigi Mario. <laughs> His brother is named Luigi Mario. Wow, that's, that's so insulting. No, I'm Mario, and this is my brother, Luigi. Mario. How close is this? Are we within 0.5%? Mm, so we would need an Inquisitor, which we can get, and we would need that conversion power. So I don't think we're going to get that. I'm going to go for that because it's just dude. Yo, clergy. Why not? 
Ah, uh, your influence isn't great enough. Mario had his dick out in a random magazine. Now, now I'm beginning to grow suspicious of what chat is telling me. What? <laughs> I mean, I kind of believe that might happen, but... Strange. It's in the movie. Oh, oh. Look it up. I... Do I want to, though? Amy wasn't lying to me? I don't know. I'm getting... Getting paranoid and suspicious. Now, I, I believe that you're telling the truth. Uh, Milan, though. Uh, Venice. Venice is weaker, so we will rival them. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Manpower's getting close. Look it up. Mario Magazine. Dick. Tina Brown's. <laughs> no. Mario is a total dick. Unreserved mysteries. Alright, alright. Penis. Mario bared his penis in a Nintendo licensed manga in the 80s. Really? No, no, no. Mario's penis was- oh yeah, I have seen this before- was in print in 1988 in a Super Mario manga series that ran from 88 to 98. Somehow the world forgot about this. Ah, yeah, I've seen that before, I just yeah, forgot about it. Why would you Google that? Ah, Curiosity? Zealots fighting the Pope. <laughs> go, Protestants, go. Go, Protestant. No. Ooh. Do not. Do not put it on screen. Yeah, nah. Not. That's not happening. Which terms of service? Never heard of them. Never heard of them. <laughs> it's so tiny, you'd laugh. True. It's not like a sexualized phallus. It's him like angrily taking off his pants and stamping on the ground. I don't, without context of what's happening in this scene, it's very, very confusing. Like he's holding his pants above his head and he's stomping on some little creature. I, there's a fetish for that. You think that Mario's mushroom is against terms of service? I, I think you're right, Amy. I think you're probably onto something there. Ah. Uh. Get him an air faster than the 666. That would be nice. Well, I mean, our air is going to be in a... In a... Regency! 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 I kept wanting to say residency. He's gonna be in residency for a long time. No, he's gonna be in a regency for a long time. Gonna start, start calling all man bits mushrooms? Welcome to the future? Isn't that done? I mean, there, there's... I've definitely been around people who refer to them as mushrooms. Or things involving mushrooms. I personally don't, but I mean, I guess I could see it. This is the future now. Um, well, we're not ready to do this. I could start culturally converting stuff, but I don't really want to do that. I could embrace colonialism. And we're actually getting pretty close on that, so I should save up. A bunch of our provinces are colonial fit. Counts feud. Uh, so next era will be named either Mario or Luigi. Nothing fancy, no it's a muse. All right, we'll, we'll, we'll think about it, but if I do it, it's under protest. <laughs> oh, we're a great power. Oh, well, I mean, that's kind of fitting. We have been 
destroying Italy. Uh, so manpower is maxed out. Army is not yet. Combat width is 25, so let's get 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 more. That'll get us up to 24. God, I wish your dynasty was called Spaghetti. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing even vaguely mean or racist about any of the jokes that we're making here today. They are totally all in the best of taste. Can I vassalize you, Modena? I can't, and I'm mad about it. Hmm. <laughs> I gotta say, this has been a pretty good recovery uh, of starting out the stream today with a uh, more nagged failure. Not racist because I'm Italian too. Oh, okay. Is that how that works? I just need to get an Italian to make the jokes for me. Interesting. Hmm. <laughs> Alright, tech is technically ready to go. I really wish that we had another tech group that I could invest in because it's so ahead of time. We're building up these claims so we can start more unjust wars of Tuscan oppression upon the Italian people so that we can form Italy. I really like the Tuscan ideas. This Tuscan idea mostly, but Italian ideas are better for conquering large swaths of land and for taking out big guys like the Ottomans. Also, eating up more development will let us field a larger army, which will make us more able to take on the Ottomans and make us have a larger navy so we can actually afford transports and we can use those transports, etc, etc, etc. You get it. You get where this is going. like relaxed laid back campaigns like this one where I don't have to be like well fuck we haven't taken the Levant by 1470 it's hopeless it's nice to just be able to go doop -a -doop -a -doo, getting some cores doop -a -doop -a -doo, let's go wreck the Pope or are you gonna do colonizing I don't think so I, I mean maybe late game if we're having fun and I don't want to end the campaign I might take it later on, but right now I'm just trying to focus on ideas that are specifically useful and helpful for this. Colonies are fun, and if I were just playing any old Tuscany game, I'd be colonizing. Because I love colonizing the New World as Italy. And other Italian states. Uh, let's take the interest, which doesn't do much for us. We have a truce with you. Milan, however, we do not. We would be at war with Frankfurt, Ravensburg, and Savoy, which none of those scare me. Savoy is mildly intimidating, but we can take them. Bohemia would join. Modena would join if I promised land. I will promise them land. I will not make good on that promise, because it's a good opportunity to get Modena to break their alliance with us so that we can start attacking them. Tuscan Canada. So, such a valuable trade node to get when you're trying to get back down here. Yep, get in on this. Yeah, excellent. And wipe. So I'm aware of the fact that we are at war with Savoy, and that Genoa will probably give them military access. I'm not into that, but we're fine. Uh, Ming La Plata. Uh, yeah, colonizing the New World as Ming can be a lot of fun to do. Oop. Call your ally to war. Hey, get in on this. <laughs> I don't need you, but get in on this. 
weapon manufactories. Oh boy. E. Oh god, they're all terrible. Any of these good? That one's good. That one's that build immediately. Cancel whatever the hell that. There, yeah. Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. So for 500, 400, we can get 23. Do that anyway. Let's build the 0.05s. Yeah. Recreating, recreating historic atrocities for profit and fun. Ooh, colonialism. Yeah. It's. I really like this game. I really like this series of games, but reenacting colonialism can be... Well, it's so cleaned up in the game, right? Like, you don't have to actually visit horrible things upon these populations that you're s settling. It just happens cleanly and nicely, and you don't have to think about it. So, in that respect, it's fun, because you're just painting the map, but... Yeah... Uh, there's some dark undertones there. Same way that we're waging a war right now, but that it's peaceful, and nice, and easy, and don't have to don't have to worry about it. Is it bad that I always kill natives in new colonies? What? Why Automod? Automod, go fuck yourself. Okay, I need to I need to change Automod after this because Protestant jokes it's not liking killing natives. Granted, it's a horrible thing to say, but in the context of this game, it is a legit thing. Is it bad that you always kill natives? I mean, that way you don't get revolts, but I always go with the peaceful I always go with uh coexistence because I just don't like dealing with them. Wow, Alex. <laughs> Auto mod. When you're playing a paradox game, those jokes happen a lot. And it being in good taste or bad taste is kind of hard to say because you're not talking about the actual historical peoples or the actual events, you're talking about the representations of those peoples or those events or those things in the context of this video game. Yeah, I always tend to go the pacifistic route. I'm not very successful at this game. Eh, the pacifism route isn't inferior in any way. It slows your growth a little bit, but it also makes it so that you don't have to keep an army positioned overseas every time, overseas every time you want to take province. And killing the natives, besides it being an ethically ambiguous thing, and I, I say ambiguous, a bad thing, a like <laughs> demonstrably bad thing. It also ruins the development of that province for every thousand natives i think for every thousand population that turns into a certain kind of development it might be somewhat randomized but that's a, a hangover from eu3 in ck2 your daughter had syphilis my brothers fought against me i seduced them with my std daughter and they die oh god that's Brilliant and horrible. That's very. That's. That's subreddit material there. Uh, hard to screenshot that exactly, but that's very clever. And then I become the king of Spain. Ah, it would be Spain. Spain is very interbred in the early game. <laughs> Sounds historically accurate, to be honest. Yeah, but they weren't weaponizing syphilis back then. We. I'm, I'm impressed. Don't get me wrong. <laughs> ah, defender of the faith. Ah, uh, no, no, I will not be defending anyone except for my own ambitions. Good God, just fall. I don't actually want any of this Savoyard territory. I just want them out of the war. 
Frankfurt? Cool. Give me dollars? Dollar bills? Force my religion on you just to fuck with the HRE? Give me war reps? Excellent. Who else are we at war with? Ravensburg. Who is not occupied yet. But they will be. Wow! Oh, I've been curious where the army was this entire time. Here they are. They're up in Prague. Not my problem. Have you seen a gay pope in CK2? I think I have. I mean, I've seen a horse pope, so I must have seen a gay pope. Which is a weird thing to say, but like, if I've seen a horse being... Yeah. Frog Pope, White Thor. No, no, not not that cool. Horse Lords is the best DLC. Horse Lords DLC for Crusader Kings made it so that you can, if you're a lunatic or under certain circumstances, you can promote your horse to be a doctor or your advisor or, or silly stuff like that. Oh, I can make you release Mon Farah. Well, let's not do it. It also provided the framework for people who are very clever to exploit the horse system in order to give the horse a bishopric, bishopric, and for those bishop horses to then become elected pope as they became cardinals. Um, let's take that one. Woman pope? Yeah, you can have a horse be pope, but God forbid a woman become pope, apparently. The game's alternate history, but still has the baked-in trappings of <laughs> real history when it comes to gender problems. Gotta love that dare patriarchy. Uh, so if I just took all of this, we'd have a problem. Yeah, wh what about that? Papal State, Venice, Genoa, Austria, Milan. How about that? Papal State, Venice, this is my least favorite part about fighting in Italy. It's just like, well, I could take everything, but then half the world would want me dead, so I guess I'll just take a little bit. Can I convert those? Yeah, let's convert those before coring them. <laughs> Europeans and their religions. At least their religions are more coherent than the ones in the, the mod I was looking at earlier. I was looking at the Mars Universalis uh, mod, which is EU4 set on Mars. It needs some serious work. It's a cool freaking idea. Ooh, Ragusa is promising... Uh, yeah. Yeah. You are promising me war. war. You're promising me war. Excellent. No, you're promising me land if I go to war. Into that. I used to play this game like a wrecking ball. Like, I want this now. This land, give it to me now, regardless of the consequences. It's nice when you get to the point where that's actually something you can do. Late game, you can start pulling that off. But the game does punish you pretty heavily for being indulgent like that. Ooh, well, you dead. And you soon to be dead. And by that, I mean you dead. Yeah, it was a lot of fun watching Amy first play this game. We... That that was in college, and that was that was a lot of fun. Yeah, but I would try to do that as Bohemia. Yeah, well, you know, if you're good enough at the game, no. Some people are really good at microing troops or building armies to exact specifications that make them very good, or keeping cognizant of all the terrain bonuses and penalties and yada da da da. You can you can punch way above your weight if you know what you're doing, but there are some things that are impossible in this game. And we own one DLC from Crusader Kings 2. I want you to guess what it is. What is it? Sunset Invasion? <laughs> I, I I like Sunset Invasion. I don't like having it on all the time, but it was so much fun when I first played with it. 
having my grand Sicilian empire fighting the Mongols on one front and the invading Aztecs on the other. It was fun. Stupid, but fun. <laughs> okay, so I've been streaming this and I'm enjoying this. It's 9.30. I'm probably going until midnight tonight. I do have to work tomorrow, right? What day is today? Tuesday? Yeah, I have to work tomorrow night. So I do have to sweep at some point. I'm tempted to play Fable with our last couple of hours today. Because I'm taking any damn excuse to play. <laughs> it involves potpourri and animals. Oh, then it would have to be horse lords. Um, yeah, might, might hop back and play some more Fable. Because that is a very relaxing game to end streams with. Uh, can I? Yeah, boy. Sweep is for the week. Yeah, well, I don't disagree, honestly. But when it comes to being able to do my job, I need to be able to speak clearly. And help people solve puzzles as I work in a puzzle room. Only Dio saw... <laughs> you bought it, would you? I... I wasn't big on horse lords. I, I think it's kind of funny, the uh, the whole being able to promote horses and now bears to being playable characters in that game. But I wanted CK2 to be more of a historical simulation than it is. Play FF, play Final Fantasy 14. Amy, don't you play Final Fantasy 14? Am I misremembering that? Uh, yeah. That one. I haven't played an MMO in quite some time. Well, that's not true. Last year I was playing The Secret World a little bit when it was still being in Alpha. Maybe. Maybe I'm Fanfrit. Oh, okay, I see. I see. <laughs> That would be some interesting channel variety for me. Hardy Seaman. Yeah, it's... That's one of my favorite events. Just like... Paradox definitely knew what they were doing when they made that joke. Hungary's no longer a valid rival. Get wrecked, Hungary. Oh, you have been getting wrecked. There. Alright, continue being wrecked. I've had this, this mission since we started the game. And I... I thought that something was missing. It felt like something was missing from the game. Yep. Yep. Whoops. I get rid of that spy network. Go, go keep people from joining that coalition. Uh, beautiful. Beautiful. Get the fuck out of here. Because I... I think we have everything that we could take from them. So maybe maybe you give me that territory? Reduce it. Maybe maybe you don't screw me over in this peace deal? I kind of expect Ragusa to not give us the territory that I want, but I've been I've been hurt before. Uh, oh, they gave us Venice. Alright, we're good. <laughs> We, we good, Ragusa. We good. Uh, hell yeah. <laughs> that is an easy Venice get. Uh, what is R? 27. Not there yet. He's eternal. Savonarola is eternal. Savonarola. This man lives forever. I'm gonna be pretty sad when he dies, because he's been a plus leader. He's part of why we're being able to just steamroll stuff right now. Uh, demand diplomatic support. There's your charters. How about how about how about how about how about how about you? How about you? Nobility. If I demanded support, nah, nah. I want them to be happy. Venice is no longer a valid rival. 
Salzburg has entered coalition. Oh no. What have you done to me? You fool. <laughs> Giving me Venice has pissed off all these people. They may have done it intentionally. No, no, they're my ally, and I helped them so they owe me favors now, and they were just being a bad AI. Bad AI. Can I expand this anymore? Gonna have to. Fuck. <laughs> Fuck. Ragusa, you did this to me. <laughs> oh boy. Oh, this is gonna be fun. You can't spell fun with F and U without F and U. Hmm. Can't imagine fun without F and U. That's that's kind of kind of an okay pickup line, but it's not very good. Alright, so which, which dude do we have? We have morale of navies? No, you need to get right the fuck out of here. We need somebody to improve our reputation or how quickly our relations get better. And we need that, we need that now. Now? Now. Good. I still want to hold out for the diplo rep guy, because that helps out a lot as well. Now you will sow the seeds of... I, I sowed the seeds of our own destruction quite a while ago. I don't want to reap those seeds, though. Alright, well, there's stability lost. We have a regency. Time for a Protestant queen regent. Uh, yeah, she needs to be... Oh, that cost us two stability. <laughs> I can't read. Wah, wah. Switzerland has entered the coalition. Boy! Why? Rival of our rival. Okay, cool. So you can instead uh, help outrage countries be a little less outrage, maybe? Possibly? We're converting that to Protestant already, so let's take the mission to convert Venice, Venezia to Protestant, because I'm doing it anyhow, right? Go down to development, let's look at... Wow, none of these are great manpower provinces, that sucks. Take that. <laughs> D4, and that, sure. So, yeah. What I just did should have made it so that plenty of people can't be my rival anymore. Lithuania, let's take that. Milan. I actually should have picked Castile, but Lithuania already hates us for some stupid reason, even though we're this far away from them. So let's rival them in turn. Only good, good manners to do so. And... Mocking A. Alright. Croatia? France? Oh, you formed Croatia. Didn't know you could do that. Good job, Ragusa. So, Croatia, France, Mantua, and Modena, Modena are all with me. Bohemia is a backstabbing... But liquor? I don't know. Salzburg is what we need to occupy. Oh, this is going to be a long war. Oh, okay. I will fight this war, but at the end of this war, I think we're switching over to Fable. <laughs> so, I'm going to need some chill after this. Got about 20 minutes? Yeah, 20 minutes. Can I wrap this up? Oh boy. Well, we'll, we'll find out, won't we? So let's uh, fire you and fire you. Morale is pretty good. Fire you, hold out for another discipline guy. Tell our allies that they can and should attach on this. Oh boy. Okay, well. Wipes. Cool, let's take our navy, go blockade that, let's get Genoa out of this war. I can't get everyone out of this war, but I can get some people out of this war. 
going in on this. Slow this down to speed four. I don't need to be rushing as much as I am. I'm impatient and wanting this to go well, but let's not rush it. Take our time. That's, that's the key. Oh god, if I could- now I can't get there in time to blockade them all on that island. Be hilarious, but not gonna happen. Not gonna happen. Can I get there? Is it worth getting there? Yeah, they are attacking with a minus one. Cool, we won. Okay. <laughs> This, uh, this war's been going a lot better than previous Coalition Wars have. My kids better appreciate me. Why do you say that, Amy? Just because you a cool person and should be appreciated, or... Babies are unappreciative little bastards. Uh, hey, 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 hey. hey what if, what if, what if, what if? Guys, what if we didn't run away from this? Okay. Doing a lecture tomorrow on comic distribution, and I'm checking copyright contracts on various distributors to protect your kids. Oh, that's cool. You don't think I'm cool? I'm an adult. Yeah, you're right. Adults can't be cool. Too old to be cool. <laughs> ah. It is kind of strange how that's a thing as a kid, right? Well, as a teenager, at least. Um, can we catch that? We might be able to catch that. It looks like some of their troops are occupied right there, but I don't want to start a fight on a river crossing that I don't know that I can win. So let's pull off of that. Now let's go occupy that, because they'd have to attack me here. Speed things up a bit. Now, typically speeding things up means I start mismanaging things, but... You're like living dangerously. Well, it sounds like you are a very good teacher. I don't feel like uh, a lot of teachers would go copyright protect the content that their artist students are making. Here I am doing homework for them, yeah. How much is this? You can handle that. How much is this? You can handle that. Thank god that Castile's not in this war. So, rivaling them... Probably good that I didn't. Hmm. Yeah, I forgot that overextension makes people like you less. Or it, uh, decreases your ability to... ...improve relations. You're getting wrecked. And I'm sorry for it, but I can't help you. France is doing a lot of the sieging here for us, which is quite nice of them. Let's pull this dude back. And let's look at this. How far away are we from a truce? The length of the war needs to go on for quite some time. I think that we can hold this with very little difficulty. Yeah. Well, that's a very good way to think about it, you being the volunteer that it's on you to do the best that you can, but plenty of people do not think that way. Though, I don't know how many of those people would actually volunteer as well. Okay. I like this line. I want this to fall so we can actually go and do something. Italian engineer. Hire them. Movement speed bonus. That sucks. Oh. Movement speed is garbage. I would rather not have that. Um... What? Oh, you gave up on taking that. You dummy. France, we need it. <laughs> we need this so that I can go move into your territory and help you out. I have to keep using words like dingus and weenie. That's sad and funny. 
that would drive me insane. That's one reason why I can't teach kids, is I... I can censor myself, but I absolutely hate to censor myself. Wendell? Why Wendell? Not Weenie? Wendell? <laughs> I don't understand why people have come up with curse words that aren't actual curse words. Like, things like drat, or dang, or darn, or golly. Because... Why not just say the word if you're saying a different word that has the same meaning? You're asking me to understand 13-year-old boys? Well, it's not 13-year-old boys who really make up, uh... Make curse words. It's more like... Overly polite middle-aged people, I think, that do that. Or have a tendency to, anyway. How close are we on this? Pretty close. Wow, this war has been very low effort on my part. I know France has been doing God's work here, and same with Croatia, but I've just kind of kicked back and been enjoying the uh, all-out. Francesco Stefano, I didn't get to name him. I'm sorry. He can't be Mario. He can't be Mario. Fire all these till we get something better. Looming disaster, civil war. We need fair legitimacy or to have a regency council. Well, better legitimacy is something I can arrange. Done. No problem. Not even cursing, they're just calling each other weird names and touching each other. <laughs> Are you sure you're teaching 13 year olds and not like a BDSM course? That sounds like it could describe a wire, wide array of activity. We, ah, ha, ha, now you'll peace out. Will you give me what I want? Yes, yes you will. So, fuck yeah. Give me the Pope's territories and get out of my face. The hell out of here. You come to my house. Hold on, it's no longer a valid rival. You're goddamn right they're not. <laughs> Alright. Feeling pretty positive about this. Alright, core those. It's so expensive to core all of this. Oh my god. I should have expected this. Wonder Woman was written by a feminist, polyamorous guy in a BDSM relationship with two women. Left me some Wonder Woman. Huh. That's pretty cool. Did not know that about him. Actually, I really don't know much about him at all. Yeah, she wore a corset, carried a whip, all that. Yeah, and there was some pretty not at all veiled BDSM stuff in there. whip of truth if she bound your bracelets together she lost her free will yeah it's uh it's a kinky kinky character which yeah you know a lot of things that we regard as relating to children or children's toys or properties or things that like oh comics are for kids or stuff like that or Barbie is for little kids. A lot of these things have very sexual origins that they've been reinterpreted from. Alright, let's keep working on these outraged countries, try not to piss off too many more. Dude, you're done in Mantua. Get get the hell out of there. Go go improve relations with actually mad people. Reason against Tuscany, I don't care. Encroachment of nobility, yeah sure, knock yourself out so long as you're not over 80, we good. Ooh. I'm glad that I checked. Um, no. There we go. 
13 year old boys in your class might learn some things tomorrow. <laughs> well, the uh, comics class definitely taking quite a turn. Let's build this. These. Fuck it, let's just, yeah. Build it everywhere! So I recognize the point of this is that we go form Egypt. I, I know that we are kind of off course for accomplishing that. But making a big strong Tuscany who don't need no man, meaning France is our man here, is necessary if we're going to take on the Ottomans by ourselves and start carving up their territory all willy-nilly. <laughs> yeah, I think you're right about that. But the, the public presentation hasn't been that way. Comics have been publicly, publicly or widely presented as being a very all-American, very uh, waspy sort of thing. And they are more complicated, and queer, and complex. I wanted another hard C sound <laughs> to alliterate with there, but I don't have any- No, Alex, you were coring something! You haven't cored Ferrara, what? Habits. Habits. Bad habits. Corgi. Give me support. Damn it. Ah. Uh, Cold War Comics Code Authority didn't totally die until 2011. Yeah. Yeah, that that was such a weird thing. The self-censorship. I suppose it was necessary, but... Pretty odd. And what this time's for is... Yeah, just build these. These are worth building, those are not worth building. Save up for manufactories in those provinces. Here we go. Farm estate. Good enough. Royal heretic. Uh, I don't care about Modena. So in this class you've been teaching, Amy, have you been talking to them at all about the history of comics? Or has it been more, like, practical skills or practical knowledge? I think history is practical knowledge, personally, but then again, I studied history, so I'm a wee bit biased when it comes to that. Just, just a little bit, though. Just, just a tiny, tiny, stubborn, unrelenting bit. Had a couple hours on history. Cool. I think context is important for making art and just living life in general. The more context you have, the more things really start to make sense. Just in m many, many respects. If like anything else in life, like I wouldn't go wandering into a forest without a map, right? I wouldn't go on a trip without planning things out. I I don't like to engage in media unless I look at the history of that media. Yeah. Yeah. Methodology evolves. Damn it. Okay, didn't get the thing I wanted. In interesting ways. It's like studying any art form, I suppose. I really... Uh, history, when it's taught in schools, is often like this broad, blunt, intimidating thing full of memorizing dates and names and not actually being all that interesting. But it is interesting, and it's applicable to so many things. Uh, fuck the Pope. <laughs> if you're interested in something, regardless of what it is, whether it be a sport, whether it be a specific skill set, a trade, a game, a anything, there's a history of that thing out there. And understanding and learning that history will make you better at that thing, 
broaden your appreciation for that thing. Like, there's no reason to not study history. Argues the historian playing the alternate history game. Hmm. Today all your kids had gutters. Yeah, that's a good way to teach them. Um, how, how old are these kids? 13? I thought there was an age range for some reason, but maybe I'm mixing it up with something else. When I was a kid, I was very stubborn about how I did things and not very open to criticism. As I got older, my openness to criticism blossomed, and I realized that, wow, being a stubborn dick doesn't actually get you anywhere or help you become a better person. Well, I, I don't know how receptive I would be to feedback taking a class 13 to 18. Oh, that's good. That sounds like they all are interested and want to be there and aren't just trying to show off at you. I don't love this, because these Venetian separatists are likely to walk over to Venezia and we don't have boats. No, can I go fuck that up? I don't have military access through you. <laughs> you should be able to take care of this on your own, Austria. Come on. Ooh, oh. Man, this has gotten very zen. <laughs> I I do not mind this at all. Right now I'm chilling out to let the coalitions die off. Because I'd rather not go in coalition more after coalition more after coalition more. That is a great way to expand very quickly and consistently. But I, I want this to relax a little bit. Just a little bit, though. Oh, that's unfortunate. wouldn't have to call a counselor in for me when I was that age. You would just have to convince me that it was the right thing to do, or that I should do it, rather than just telling me to do it. I was very annoying as a kid. For authority figures. For people I liked and respected, I was a wonderful friend. But for people trying to tell me what to do, or instruct me, I maybe, maybe was not the best. What is this? Okay, oh. Fair enough. So you, um... This is your most valuable territory, and it's gone. Yeah. It's handy that they have staff around for you. I can't imagine doing that without any support system. Mm-hmm. Into mountain, into mountain, into mountain. Are you in a coalition against me? No. Do we have a truce? We do. We do. That's just let that slowly improve. I guess your attitude is still outrage. No, it's neutral. Okay. Mm-hmm. So, okay, I think, I think this is going to wrap us up on EU4 for tonight. Because this has been, like, our... Been at this for six hours. I'm going to save. We will definitely come back to this because this is going really well. It's looking like a... Go down with the Ottomans is the only way forward, which is fine, and honestly would uh, be cathartic. So I'm looking forward to that. But if you are watching on YouTube, stop by again tomorrow for some more of this. Till then, doodle. -doo.